guys, so in this video we're going to go through a variety of books with FBA scan and my scanner and determine whether or not I would buy them if I were at a library sale or thrift store or garage sale or whatever. And just so you're aware, this is how we set up our Bluetooth scanner on our phones. I discussed this in my previous video in much more detail. We have Velcro that we attach to our cases and we sync this up with our, it's Bluetooth, so we sync it up with our phones and there we go, we're ready to scan. All right, so let's scan some books. Uh, let's start with this one here. All right, the database shows me just a snapshot, so that's something to consider. It doesn't show me the full title, it doesn't show the image, it doesn't show all of the offers here, but it gives us enough information to know pretty quickly if it's a buy or not. And I can see here, database mode is showing me lowest FBA offers, $34. If I paid a couple bucks for this book, I'd net around 20. Um, this rank right here, this sales rank, is uh, just the current sales rank. It doesn't show you the average. So if we tap this button here, this search button, it's a live search, and it pulls up all of the information. So we can see the current sales rank is 244,000. Average sales rank is 251,000. And again, you might be wondering, well, why didn't database mode show numbers closer to that? Well, that's because when you download the database, it's giving you an estimate of what the information has been and live mode is a great way to see what's happening big picture in real time. So I always make sure to tap that live search button before I make any purchases just to make sure everything looks good in real time. Another thing to tap is this column header. If you tap that FBA column header it shows you all of the real current FBA offers and those all look you know in the mid 30s which is great and yeah everything here looks good. If you are curious, you can tap the camel down here and it pulls up camelcamelcamel.com, which tells you sales rank history, price history. This is all time. Let's look at the last month. And it should pull up for us. And there we go. We can see every time you see a jagged line like that, that's a sale. So this sells all the time. The rank stays between 500,000 and you know 50,000 about and it sells frequently. So this is definitely you know, a good buy. So let's go back to FBA scan. So yeah, this is, would be a, a definite buy for me. On to the next one. Scan the barcode. All right, and then again, we can see pretty much right away, this is definitely a buy. Uh, even though the database mode's not showing us the full title, it's not showing us everything, it's showing us enough. But let's double check with that live search. And here we go, pulls up everything. Everything looks really good. You can tap that just to be safe. Um, but yeah, the sales rank looks awesome. The current sales rank is 63,000. Average sales rank over the last 90 days is 189. I personally like to stay around under a million uh, in rank unless it's fetching me a really nice profit above a million rank, a million to a million and a half. Uh, I generally try to stay around there because that uh, we can go into this later, but that'll guarantee it'll sell within at least six months. Okay, let's do another one. And here, because we're in database mode, that pulled up right away. And we can see the rank is awesome, price is awesome. This is definitely uh, a book that we want to buy. So I switched to live mode um, instead of database mode just to show you how much longer it takes to scan and pull up information when you're in live mode. So let's go ahead and scan this book again. Okay. So even though it doesn't seem that long, when you're scanning book after book after book after book in rapid succession, that split second is very valuable time that you need. So database gives it to you in less than half a second, really quick, whereas live mode takes, and we have also really good reception here. If you have poor reception, pulling up live mode can take two, three, four seconds, which you just can't afford when you're trying to go quickly. Okay, so let's do another. We can see right away this one would be a no. It uh, sells new for six dollars. The rank is five million, which means it sells just a couple times a year, maybe, probably less. Um, and it's just not worth it. You're not going to get a profit. You're losing money. So I would definitely pass on that one. Let's take a look at this book here. All right, so this one's tricky. In database mode, it's showing us no FBA offers which normally would be in a very attractive quality for me. That means if I'm the only FBA offer, I don't have competition and I can price it within reason wherever I want. 
Um, but we see 255 used offers, 135 new. This is a best seller, it sells all the time. Let's look at a live search, and there we go. We can see there's actually 103 FBA offers, and the lowest is around $6, which is making us no money. Um, so this would definitely be a pass. Uh, even though you know database mode showed us something kind of promising, it's still a pass. Always kind of check that live search before you buy a book, at least I do, just to double check that it's a buy. So this book here does not have a barcode, um, but that doesn't mean you just pass on it. Definitely look, look inside the title page. You can see an ISBN number, and you can manually type that in by tapping this field right here and typing in the numbers. And once you pull it up, you can see if it's worth money or not. So just because a book does not have a barcode doesn't mean you should automatically pass. Definitely look it up by ISBN. It could be worth good money. And this last one here, it says not found. And that happens sometimes, especially with workbooks. Tap that live search, and there we go. Now it pulls up. So we can see here, there's only one FBA offer and it's new, Amazon new price. That little A next to this price means Amazon is selling it for $13 new. We can double check by looking here. Yep, there are no used offers, uh, except for this guy who thinks he's getting $200 out of it, <laughs> which is not happening. So yeah, so if we wanted to, because this is used and there's no other used offers, we could come in at $11 probably as a used very good. Now with work workbooks, Please, please, please check that the pages are clean and that they're all there uh, before you buy it and try to sell it. But yeah, we could, If I mean, again, that wouldn't get us very much money. It is lightweight, but to sell it for $11, totally your judgment call if you want to do that or not. So that's just kind of how I look at this particular book. All right, so there you have it. A good overview of how I use FBA Scan when I'm scanning books. If you have additional questions, drop them in the comments below. Follow me at, on Instagram at Hustle at Home Mom. That's where I do a lot of my behind the scenes work and tips and tricks. Um, I do have a website, hustleathomemom.com, if you want to check that out. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos about tips and tricks of how I make money online. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.